Hello everyone, this is Jacek. Today I would like to share with you my technique of instant 3D dodge and burning for a portrait. I just came up with this uh, technique because I was kind of wondering what it would look like to have a very bad high pass filter applied in a certain way. I tried it. It kind of works, so I wanted to share it with you. And also there are two free Photoshop actions for those techniques with two different blurring methods and they are in the link in the description. But before you download it and use it, I would like to simply explain why I did it this way and how it works. So first of all, what we need to do is copy our image. So if you only have one background layer, it's simple enough, just drag it to a new layer icon. But if you have multiple layers and you have retouched everything already and you don't want to flatten your image, unfortunately what you need to do is create a merged copy of all your visible layers and the shortcut for it is Control shift alt e So if we already have this copy, we need to convert it to a smart object. And now we go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and what we need to do is do a really shitty high pass on it. And the reason for it is because when we sharpen, we only want to detect the edges and have something, for example, like this. But for this to work, we need to go past beyond a simple edge detection with halo, and we need the halo to spread to create some kind of like this... 3D depth map, I would say, but we simply need the highlights to be visible and the shadows to be visible and the image to be really coherent. So you need to look at it and it's almost like the picture you took, but with a shitty effect. So we click OK. Then we go to image adjustment and hue and saturation and we need to desaturate the entire image. Or we could have done it as the first step, but I chose to do it this way. And then we go to our blending modes and we set the layer to soft light. And you can already see what it is doing. So we are creating this kind of copy of our image with the highlights and shadows accentuated, but we can control the radius and the effect that it creates because we can always, thanks to the smart filter, yeah, don't show it again, we can always just simply play with the high pass. Okay. But we want it to be a strong effect because what we will do now is go to filter, blur, and use a Gaussian blur, or we can go to noise and use uh, median or if you like dust and scratches. I will select Gaussian blur because it's quicker, but I will also show you two actions that I created for you, which have both Gaussian blur and the median. So we don't want to have a zero effect on it. We want to smooth out the high pass that we already created. So we go higher and higher with the Gaussian blur and we can see the effect already being done. And we can also toggle on and off the preview and we have it like this, we click OK. And now what we have is a dreamy looking, some kind of blurriness happening, but also accentuating the highlights and the shadows a little bit. So what we can also do, because of the edge detection with the high pass, we can, which can create some kind of halo effect. And what we do now is simply put on an invert mask. So we hold Alt, click the mask, and we have a black mask covering everything up. We go to our brush, select a white brush, go with 100% opacity and flow, and we uncover what we want to have on our picture, the effect, so we don't have the haloing around our person, and if the effect is not strong enough, we can always duplicate those layers, group them together, and we have our 3D effect quick and simple. Of course, we can lower the opacity of individual layers or the entire group if we want to. So we have before and after, before and after. Now, let's check another picture and see if it works okay on it as well. And now we will use our actions. So we have our instant 3D Gaussian and instant 3D median. So we first take the Gaussian blur 
and what the action does is simply creates the copy of your layer so if you only have the background layer it will create the copy of it but if you have multiple layers you will first need to create as we already said the snapshot so control shift alt e or command shift alt e which will create the stamp visible layer or merge visible layer whatever just remember the shortcut <laughs> and you will be fine so the first thing the layer is already converted to a smart object we get a prompt for a high pass which we can select and of course we select it based on the resolution of our photo and the type of our photo because if we have only like this one so a more of a close portrait we need to have a higher radius but for the previous example which we skipped the full body shot the radius will be much lower so we what we want to have an effect on is the highlights and shadows on the face and let's say that this would be okay for me in the background the action already desaturated the layer and changed the blending mode to a soft light so now we are prompted with the Gaussian blur prompt window and we need to select the radius for the Gaussian blur and let's say that something like this would be okay we click OK and then automatically we get the black masking layer on our layer. So we just select it, take our white brush and we can paint in the effect that we want. Effect, 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 whatever you pronounce it. And we have before and after, before and after. This is much stronger, so I will drop down the opacity and it's an instant 3d effect as advertised uh, so let me close this one let's use a full body shot almost so we get the action now as you can see the high pass is too strong and what i want to do is have this effect like this not like the before but uh, something like this we click ok uh, some magic is happening and now we get the Gaussian blur I need to blur it a little bit less depending on how strong I want the effect to be it inverts the layer perfect the mask I can paint it in and I'm using my mouse so this is not an action that requires a tablet and a stylus and we have a 3d effect perfect and now let's check the median let's check if it also works we click it the first steps are exactly the same so we need to select the high pass radius let's check the high pass and now the Gaussian blur Gaussian Gaussian yeah okay say something like this yeah perfect and it will it will take a while that's why i used oh sorry not gaussian the median that's why i used the gaussian the first three times because the median really takes its time uh, maybe i need to update my computer okay move it along i will try to move my mouse to make it uh, go quicker perfect and now we uncover with our white brush on the face perfect and we have before and after before and after a little bit more on the nose before and after before and after and that's it that's my technique for instant 3d effect and just a note this is not a professional retouching technique it's not non-destructive but i know that some of you may not have time to do everything manually and this may speed up your workflow so use it with reason do not exaggerate and leave a comment if you like it i was kind of experimenting with it it created something that i think is kind of useful so i wanted to share it with you and it would mean a lot to me if you let me know what do you think about it and of course like share subscribe and all those youtube stuff thank you very much and see you next time bye